for sure, time is of no concern, but the calendar does matter. Starting on a Friday, the carnival queen from the year before makes her last trip through the streets before she hands over her crown to the new queen at the end of the night during a traditional coronation ceremony. The following afternoon, the new carnival queen makes her appearance dressed in a spectacular costume. Then by Sunday evening, the queen returns in her coronation dress and rides through the streets on her float which matches a particular theme. Monday evening is the most elegant of all the nights, where the queen is dressed from head to toe in a dazzling dress, complete with thousands of sequins, sparkling beads, jewels, and feathers. The last full day of carnival is Tuesday, which is also known as Mardi Gras by the French and simply means Fat Tuesday. People run to the streets to follow the floats and dance in the streets for one last night. The biggest attraction of the last night are the traditional dancers of Panama known as the Pojera. National dress of the woman. La pollera is uh, all handmade. Uh, it uh, has uh, too many class of pollera. One is uh, called marcada, surcida, sombreada, and the other one, special for the work, uh, work in the past, called la montuna. In honor of Carnival, I had the wonderful opportunity to spend the afternoon with the Cardenas family of Santo Domingo, Panama, who is without a doubt expert in the Pojera tradition. For nearly an hour, the ladies dressed me in the beautiful Pojera costume as they explained the meaning and origins of the Pojera here in Panama. It's amazing to think of all the hours that goes into sewing the careful little stitches on these beautiful dresses. <laughs> This is pollera marcada, one of the class of pollera. The label of the pollera is flowers and some uh, birds. This is ten bleques, peinetón, pajuela, uh, peinetas, parches. Estos son jazmines. De coral, hechos de coral, and all of these chains that they, he that she wear are in gold, pure gold. This one is called escapulario. This is the most expensive change of the pollera. Could be more than seven thousand dollars. Just this one. This one is one of the traditional ones called La Chata. Esta casa está aquí, aquí al lado fue construida en el año 1916. Es una casa de quincha. El piso abajo es de ladrillo de aquellos tiempos cuando empezaban a ver pisos de. No, era, no existía casi ni el cemento, sino era, ese es ladrillo rojo de, de los antiguos, los primeros que hubieron. Están muy pocas casas, ya existe con esa clase de piso. Esto es para, para mover las cañas, para sacar la miel. Aquí, yo estoy parado aquí, ¿eh? ¿Sí? El caballo está dando vueltas. 
Y entonces uno va a meter una caña aquí de sal y va a salir el jugo allá. Pruébala para que quiera probar la gaita. Puedes probarla un poquito porque es muy poquito porque es Está dulce, está dulce. La pollera eh, is used every year on Tuesday in, in the time of carnival. Tomorrow is martes de carnaval here and most of the women who concurred to this town use the pollera dancing for the street around the park and the street uh, around uh, the town, special for uh, La Pollera. Uh, in this time, we used to, in Santo Domingo, uh, to make some different and traditional costume like tamborito. Tamborito is a special dancing of Santo Domingo and in, in the province of Los Santos. Tamborito consists in some typical instruments and some singers that they are sing, they used to sing um, something like a joke, um, a special song for the tunas, calle abajo o calle arriba. Uh, I have to say that uh, Calle Abajo and Calle Arriba are different groups that during the Carnaval used to confront because uh, the Carnaval consists in that. Un saludo muy especial para el mundo entero de parte de Panamá hoy día de la pollera, traje típico de Panamá. most anticipated parties of the year in Panama and in general is even more popular than Christmas or Easter. So now we know what fun means. Fun means carnival in Panama.